So hi guys, in today's video we are going to take a look at Android 7.1 on Galaxy Grand Prime. So I know many of you will be uh, like waiting for this from when I will be giving a review. But basically I was not getting the hold of this device, my mom was out and didn't have this device. So Well there yeah, as you can see the new Nogat uh, had some notifications. But as you can see this is a 5 uh, inch display and uh, it's not 720p, it's basically 540p. But you can easily fit 5 icons over here, this is actually the pixel launcher from the new pixel phone, it's not nexus launcher. And I have the same launcher running over here, this is the new euphoria. They both have same specs but these have, these have a 720p display whereas the 540p display. So as you can see it only has 4 icons over here and the google icon over here is pretty different. This is a more flatter and this is like a more circular one. But as you go in the menu, this looks a lot cleaner. It's much cleaner than this thing. This is just like a mess. The 4x, what do you something like scroll? It's pretty nice to this thing. This is just ugly. I don't know why. Here the mobile data is turned off. Wi Fi, everything is working. But the hotspot is not working that correct. Because I tried to transfer some files through the chariot and it didn't work. Let's go to display. IW brightness, live display, everything is there. If you go to the display mode, select automatic, it automatically gives you outdoor mode. But as you know, Galaxy Grand Prime doesn't have an ambient light sensor. I don't know why the 16,000 rupees device like didn't have an ambient light sensor. But that's just the thing. Display size. Now you have more diverse display size. Not just 1, 2, 3. Now you have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let's just drop it like that. Oh, it becomes much smaller. Well, it's just like a tablet now. Yeah, it looks like a tablet. Let's just bring it back. Okay. And now it shifts much faster, which is good. Now go to the apps, memory, everything is working just fine. You do get... Also, this device, I don't know why, being much costlier device, it doesn't even have 1 gig of RAM. Like, it has 1 gig of RAM, but it's around 881 MB. But the smoothness in this uh, thing uh, compared to this snapdragon 14 same chipset but the 2 gigs of ram this thing runs much smoother because of that lower resolution but it's much uglier and not that crisp to look at but as you can see you do get like 65 percent of usage over here and you do get so it's not that good for gaming you can do some heavy like uh, heavy stuff in low graphics like asphalted i have not checked the asphalt extreme still yet on my s7 but i will check it out and make a review on that buttons still the normal thing you do get bad backlight but you don't have a backlight so that's the thing gestures you have a pocket mode proximity wake everything i think just works perfect let me show you proximity wake would be just perfect just like that as you can see it lighted up which is good but I have it turn it off cause it glitches sometimes and it just drains battery now if you go to developer options there is a new sRGB mode I don't know whether it ch changes anything or not but it's still there WebOS implementation AOSP WebWeb but I will recommend Android WebWeb from the play store you can just download that now you have root access over here power menu manage root access this is like a more super easy thing which is a great addition now if you go to android version there it is 7.1 just like the nexus but i guess the nexus devices are on 7.1.1 by now which is still backward for this aosp builds but as you can see working just fine sanogen mode 14.1 but if you try to activate the google assistant it will show you the whole screen but now it will just get back on the screen search just like that it's not now on tap it's the new screen search for a good notice but as you can see it kind doesn't allow me to enable the google assistant which is a bad thing maybe the google has just no, like never also the recent apps like are much taller than before because i can remember in before versions it just like cropped over here but it's now much lengthier which is good also you do get that force touch thingy over here as you can see you can only do it on google apps and more apps will be integrated in the future but still 
you can only enjoy it on the neva apps or the play store apps and the stock aosp ones like the settings but if you touch like a cyanogen one like this one it will just do nothing at all so if you hop onto the camera you do get a snapdragon camera which is very feature packed if you go over here you get shit ton of features which is good denoises on everything is just working fine i don't know whether the video recording is working or not let's just check it out the quality is pretty bad there is no saturation at all the colors are very washed out compared to the stock version of the rom i don't know whether the all cyanogen 14 builds have that glitch but the uh, like gallery takes a whole lot of time to load anything as you can see i'm still waiting and st it's still not loading which is a bad thing or it just hanged off now it's there i just take a closer look to the and the gallery doesn't load at all and if you want the installation of this rom i will leave it over here then you can just click the video to look at that also if you go to the notification panel you do get a settings and it doesn't have a animation cause the source code of this thing is pretty early so you don't get a full but if you can expand that as you can see it looks just perfect but it doesn't have any animation at all over here it just fades in but if you go over here to edit it just returns to its original color like the blue one but if you go back it's just pure black now if you hold down the setting it doesn't spin now at all let me show you as you can see i'm still holding it but it doesn't spin at all because i guess in the cyanogen versions the system UI tuner is already enabled so you don't get that but the many of the features have been removed compared to the stock nexus phones like the night mode and everything for notification is still there do not disturb still everything is there status bar many of the features don't work like the quick pull down is working so i've just turned it off mpm works clock style right center everything works but if you go to the status bar icons okay that still works too show whether you have to add up whether app but it just glitches out so i don't use that it has like force closes battery percentage next to the icon works inside the icon works oh that's cool but the battery status style doesn't work circle like the older cyanogen versions and still it doesn't have a theme setter i don't know why the cyanogen mode team is still falling back and not adding the uh, <laughs> holy grail of android like the theme engine it's just a still back but initial impressions very fast and fluid uh, compared to the stock touchways so guys this was my review for cyanogen module 14.1 and we are like still a bit closer to the stock pixel experience as you can see i am rocking the pixel wallpapers and the pixel launcher and many of the things still not the assistant i was like got it working for the first time but now it's just hop back to the screen search so that's the thing and guys thanks for watching peace